And with that, we come to probably the most dramatic round uh, of the quiz. And this is a round that most of the teams here have had a taste of it uh, in the regional finals. And I hope they're a little well prepared this time. And um, yes. So just for the audience context, what we'll do is we have one question for each team. We start clockwise with uh, Gohati Medical College. We have a topic and we have nine options. Out of these nine options, six are correct and three are incorrect. We also have a timer running along with the grid. So the teams need to choose the six correct options, right? So you get five points for every correct answer. But if they make one mistake, whatever they've scored in this particular round comes down to zero, right? So it's important that you choose and you start with the options that you're confident with. Yes, so eight questions, one question to each team, nine options appear on the screen. Six of them are correct and three of them are incorrect. Clockwise with team one, plus five for every correct answer. And the score comes down to zero if you choose even a single wrong option, right? And the teams also reserve a right to stop the game in case you're not confident, right? Okay, moving on. So let's have a sample question for the audience. So what are the words that are present in the preamble? So let's have you shout out. People, of course. Yeah, that's right. Secular. Let's see if secular is there, right? Justice. Liberty. Equality. Fraternity, said somebody. Let's see. That's right. And huge round of applause for the audience. You cracked it right. So you know your preamble really well, and it's the introduction to the Constitution. It talks about the guiding principles of the Constitution-making process as well. Right, so with that, now we have the spotlight on Gohati Medical College. Are you ready? Yes? So let's start with your grid. So places that saw armed revolution, uh, you know, armed revolt in 1857, the War of Indian Independence. Which of these places saw armed revolt? in 1857, so you need to say go and choose the option. Go, Barakpur. Go, Barakpur, of course, we remember Mangal Pandey. It's a little bit of tension with the sound. 36 seconds left. Go, Bareilly. Go, Bareilly. In Uttar Pradesh, yes. Four more to go. Let's see if they can crack them all. 20 seconds to go, Gohati Medical College. What are the other places that saw armed revolt in 1857? We're really figuring out the geography right now. Eight seconds to go. We'll stop. They stop and they just waited for the timer to run out and put them out of their misery. And uh, so you get yourself 10 points. And can we have a huge round of applause? Right, so you get yourself 10 points. And with that, Gohati Medical College have a sigh of relief. And we move on to NUJS. This is your grid. So constituent assembly members who served as mayors or chairpersons of municipal corporations. You have 50 seconds, so you need to say go. Right? Which of these constituent assembly members were also part of, you know, rep they headed Municipal uh, Corporation. Go Chaudhary Kali Kuzaman. Okay, let's go with that option. Chaudhary Kali Kuzaman. Absolutely right. He was a part of the Lucknow Municipal Corporation. 30 seconds. Uh, Rustam Sidhwa. Rustam Sidhwa. Spot on. He was part of the Lahore Municipal Corporation. Twelve seconds to go. Minu Masani. Go Minu Masani. That's right as well. Five seconds. So you really have to hurry up if you are making any more choices. And that ends the debate. So three correct answers. You get 15 points. Huge round of applause for them. Okay. And we will move on to NLU Delhi Team 1. This is your grid women who were represented on the currency of their respective countries. So which of these women were represented on the 
currency notes or coins of the respective countries. Go Maya Angelou. Go Maya Angelou, of course, on the US currency. Go Enid Blyton. Go Enid Blyton. That was one wrong step. That marks the end of the game. You still had a lot of time. You had 28 seconds. Right? And that's a dramatic zero. Again, zero points. But what were the other choices, other logical guesses that you were discussing? Who would know the years of Go Mary Curie. Go Mary Curie. Absolutely right. On the Polish currency. Go Frida Kahlo. Go Frida Kahlo on the Mexican currency. Go Berta von Sachsen. Absolutely right. One of the earliest Nobel Peace Prize winners. I think they're getting all the right answers now. Okay. And uh, one more chance, perhaps. Go Rosa Luxemburg. Rosa Luxemburg was an incorrect answer. Other correct answers were Jane Austen and Kate Shepard, the suffragist from New Zealand. Right. Good. Again, don't worry. We have two more rounds for you to catch up. Uh, Princess Diana was the other incorrect answer. So very important to talk about the representation of women in not just like, in different areas, especially the currency notes here as well. So with that, we move on to NLU Delhi team two. Are you ready? Yes. And they give me the nod. Which, which of these are scenes depicted in the original manuscript of Indian constitution? We have these beautiful illustrations in the original manuscript of the Indian Constitution. Which of these are the scenes depicted uh, in them? Scene from King Vikramaditya's court. You need to say go. Go and scene, scene from King, King Vikramaditya's court. Scene from court. King Vikramaditya's court. That gives you five points. Think of all the beautiful illustrations on different parts uh, of the Constitution. Go Dandi March. Sorry? Go Dandi March. Go Dandi March. Go decoration with Mohenjo-daro seals. Go decoration with Mohenjo-daro seals. Nine seconds to go. Team NLU Delhi team two. Five seconds. And they want to stop it. And uh, that gives you 15 points. And that's a wonderful working out of answers there. Now for no points and no pressure. So great answer there, team NLU Delhi. And with that, we move on to Symbiosis Pune. Here is your grid. So let's see what we have in store for you. Constitutions which recognize political parties. 55 seconds. We have the other teams here going, oh my god, that looks like a tough cookie. OK, 45 seconds. Constitutions which recognize political parties. Team, your timer is running. 30 seconds left. Now would be a good time to start taking guesses. Uh, we'll go with France. Go France. That's right. 20 seconds. Canada. Go Canada. <laughs> Okay, and I can feel the audience going, oh, that is incorrect. Right, so that's a zero. And with that, NLS IU team one, are you ready for your grid? Yes, they said, bring it on. And here is your grid. The features of Ambedkar's St States and Minorities Report 1945. Again, this was published in 1945 and then you know, submitted to the Fundamental Rights Committee that Ambedkar was a part of. So what were the features or what were the recommendations that uh, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar had as part of the States and Minorities Report 1945? Uh, separate settlements for certain communities go. Separate settlements for certain communities go. Felt like a wrap for a second. 32 seconds remaining. Five more options. Let's see if they can crack them all and set a record today. 25 seconds, NLS IU team one. Uh, go nationalization of key industries. Okay, go nationalization of key industries. That's right. 10 seconds. And they said, let's cut it. Let's finish it off.
and they're happy with the 10 points that they received. Can we have a huge round of applause for NLSIU Team 1? Okay, with that, we move on to Armed Forces Medical College. They're ready with their pens and paper, and here is your grid. Women members of the 1952 Lok Sabha. Right? Again, all of these are women who played a very, very important role in Indian freedom struggle. Sucheta Kriplani, go. Sucheta Kriplani, go. Right? One of the Raj earliest. Kumari Amrit Kaur, go. Yeah, Raj Kumari Amrit Kaur, absolutely right. We've got two of them, we need four more. There's a lot of overlap between constituent assembly members, freedom fighters, and the you know female members of the 1952 Lok Sabha. Can get a little tricky. You have 26 se uh, seconds. Hansa Mehta, go. Go, Hansa Mehta. Well, team, I told you there was quite an overlap, and my heart really goes out to you. That's a zero. And with that, we move on to the last listed. And let's see if they can set a record. NLSIU Team 2, here is your grid. Subjects or topics that were covered in the Indian Independence Act of 1942. So this is passed in the British Parliament. And that's how India and Pakistan came into existence. So what were the topics or subjects that were covered as part of this, this act in 1947? 45 seconds, just to remind you the clock is ticking. Division of armed forces between India and Pakistan, go. Go with division of armed forces between India and Pakistan. It's a safe start. Think twice, think twice before you uh, say go. Administration of Burma, go. Okay, administration, administration of Burma. Of Burma. Oh. You still had 18 seconds. That was a tricky one. And with that, we move on to the audience questions. Thank you for being such a lovely audience. We have some questions for you. Right. So we're talking about an acronym that predates the era of internet messaging. Right? And its first recorded use dates to a 1917 letter from the, recent, from the then recently retired Admiral of the British Navy, uh, John Fisher, who was writing to Winston Churchill about his gleeful surprise surrounding rumors of new honorifics potentially being granted. So what is this acronym added to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2011, but was used way back in time? All along, you know, the other words that were added in 2011 were muffin top and lol. So what has been blanked out here? And in the letter it says, are we really uh, incapable of a big enterprise? I hear that a new order of knighthood is on the tepis, blank, shower it on the admiralty, right? So what acronym, which is popular these days because of instant messaging, but was used way back in time, are we talking about? Take a guess. What are some acronyms you think would fit the bill here? And expressing surprise would be a clue. Any guesses? Yes. So you're saying way back in 1917 letter, they said expre expressing surprise, OMG. Yeah, and he's like, OK, just a guess. Well, you're absolutely right. So, so this is probably one of the earliest use of the phrase OMG or oh my god, right? So wonderful answer from there. And with that, we have the next question for audience. Connect all of these. Hey, yes, sir. Look at Right. So the next round is connection question. So we thought we'll show you an example. So you need to connect all these different elements to a common answer, right? That's a clip from the famous movie Rang De Basanti. What is the overall connection? We're looking for, yeah. all right, we'll get to the teams. This is for audience, right? Yes. Good guess. Any other answers? Uh, is it Chandrasekhar Azad? 
Yes, we're looking for an incident. Okay, specific. the Kakori train robbery. This is the Kakori train robbery, absolutely right. So you had the date, you had the clip, and uh, yes, so that was the that was the gun that was used as part of the Kakori train robbery. This is just an example for you know how the next round would go on. With that, let's take a look at the scores. Right, so after the listed round, Gohati Medical College at 80 points. Can we have a huge round of applause for them? And we have NUJS at 45, NLU Delhi at 30, NLU Delhi team 2 right behind Gohati Medical College at 75 points, Symbiosis Law Pune at 50 points, NLS IU team 1 at 70, AFMC Pune at 50, NLS IU team 2 at 30. Now, this is bound to be a nail-biting finish. So wait, and let's find out what happens in the next round in the connect round. Over to Raghav.